Welcome back, Maniacs. Or should I say welcome to a series I'm going to call Friday Mania. A series, uh, by the way, shout out to Crispy Dips for the name of this series where I play an RPG every Friday. Or at least that's what I'm going to try to do for a little while. Uh, thought we'd start with I Am Setsuna. So, here we go. Gotta say, what, load game? Why is there a load game? I've not played this at all yet. I gotta say, do you want to turn on in-game voices? Can be changed later? Yes. I need to turn the sound down a little bit. God, this music is gorgeous. It has caused me to go to a soft voice because of the gorgeousness of the music. Okay, wow. Interesting start already, gotta say. I like the style of the game so far. Hmm. It seems you live up to the rumors. A natural mercenary. Or... Is that a... Who, what is it? Who's this person? Old Masked Man. Okay. Perhaps my own skill as a mercenary simply grow weak. My own skill... Skills as a mercenary. My bad. I am... Hapspur. I will be working with you on this mission. What is your name? Do you want to change Indir's name? Yes, but I am sorry, sir, for your name having to be changed. But for this, you guys know, it gots to be I'm, son. It gots to be I'm. So here we go. Do you want to use this name? Yes. Nice to be working with you, I'm. Our mission is to recover a young girl who has been kidnapped by monsters. Your job will be to exterminate any monsters we encounter along the way. Once we are done, I shall return the girl to our client. Of course. If she is still alive, that is. Let us begin right away. Are you ready to go? Whoa, dude, look at the character. Looks awesome. Uh, are you ready to go? Uh, you need to ask, or how about you? Hmm. Are you ready to go? I'm gonna... Concerned, maybe? I'm gonna say, how about you? Maybe? <laughs> you don't mess around, eh? Uh, I'm... Yes, I'm ready. Of course. I won't be getting involved in the combat. Except in advisory capacity. In an, in advisory capacity. Okay, it'll be a good chance for me to see your ability. Come on, let's go. Whoa! Oh, oh, okay. I get to move now. Okay, that's whoa. Okay. Oh, uh, look, look at that. The freaking snow stays. Oh, uh, let's see if I can. Hold on now. Uh, this is gonna. <laughs> this is a dumb thing to try to want to want to do at the start. But let's see if I can do it. Let's go. Hey, 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 hey. We make a treble clef, baby. Okay, now we leave. <laughs> Awesome. That's super cool. Whoa. Penguin bird monster thing with a floppy beak or horn. I think that's hair. It seems we've already entered their territory. Time to get to work. I'm ready to go. Of course. Look at that penguin. He's adorable. What? Good. I knew I could count on you. A puny foe, but you can never be too careful. If you approach it without it noticing, you should be able to strike first. Okay, whoa, look at that, those teeth. Okay, maybe it's not as cute as, as I first thought. When you move within a certain distance of monsters, battle will begin. If you approach monsters from the front, they will enter guard mode. However, if you approach them from behind, their guard will be down. It will start the battle. Basically, you get a surprise round. It's D&D. &D. Okay, then start the battle with a full ATB and SP gauge, allowing you to make a preemptive attack. That sounds awesome. The ATB and SP gauges are both essential to combat and will explain, we'll be explained later on. In combat, tactics are everything. Stay calm and focused at all times. That penguin just got a lot less cute. Okay. Once battle begins, your character's ATB active time battle gauges, are, which are displayed at the bottom of the screen, will start to fill up. Once one of your character's gauges is full, his or her command list will be displayed. Select the command uh, and a target, and the character will perform that action. When more than one character has a full ATB gauge, you can press the left stick and... 
Wait, the left and right buttons, or move with the left, yeah, uh, left and right to switch between characters. Although they aren't displayed on the screen, monsters also have ATB gauges and will perform actions once they are full. Ooh, okay. So if we just sit here, I think the monsters will just continuously attack us. That would suck. Of course, I am sure you were already aware of this. Okay. No, I am not. But thank you. Here it comes. Oh crap! So I don't get, I don't get to start from the behind. Well, okay, attack, Pingy. Oh, it's adorable. Yes. Okay, Pingy, slap me. No slapping, Pingy. I do not allow slapping, Pingy. Okay, so I can't move. So let's just keep on attacking its son. Yeah. Okay, so Pingy can move. How come Pingy can move and I can't move? Focus, attack up. Do I need to like move now? Let's see. What we got? Item. Let's just go attack, Pingy. Whoa. Yes, yeah, son. So we just go over there. Okay. Nice. We gained four experience. Awesome. Majestic crest. Gotta say, so far, loving this game. Oh, also, I should, uh, he doesn't really have a YouTube channel, but, uh, just, just a shout out to my buddy who, uh, who told me about this game, Mr. Craig, who you may have heard about, or just Craig in general. <laughs> we called him a different name. If you want to watch my Dark Souls playthrough, you'll see uh, what we called him. <laughs> you obviously know what you're doing. We should be safe now. For now, let us head on. Did I somehow like skip the rest of the tutorial, or is there more tutorial? I don't know, but let us go forth. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on, now is there a secret path? Okay, no, no secret path. So we're gonna continue onward. <gasps> Pingies, there are more of them than before. We have to be careful. You okay? Use a tech to take them on all. Take them all out at once. Ooh, you have a uh, spirit. Night stones on you, I presume. Uh, who needs spirit night stones or spirit night what? Okay, I don't know what those are. So, <laughs> you mean to say you have never used spirit night? What astonishing natural talent you must possess! Thank you, sir. Cyclone. Oh, okay. Thank you for that. Equipping spirit nights allow you. Equipping spirit night allows you to use text. Try that stone out. So now I gotta go to my menu, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Spirit Knight stones are stones that are imbued with magical energy. Equipping them allows your character to obtain a wide range of powers. There are two types of Spirit Knight. Command Spirit Knights. Uh, Spirit Knight allows your character to use different techs during battle and from the tech menu. While Support uh, Spirit Knight grants effects that occur automatically during battle. Oh, that's super cool! Uh, Spirit Knight can be equipped from the, from this menu, or from the menu. This is done by inserting them into the slots contained in talismans. At first, your character will only have one slot, but they will gain more as their levels increase, and by equipping different talismans, there are three types of slots. One for command, one uh, command Spirit Knight, one for support, and one that can be used to equip either type of Spirit Knight. Okay. I like it. Just having that in your position is not enough. You mustn't forget to equip it. So, uh, Spirit Knight, maybe, right? And then, uh, okay, yeah, we just have all Spirit Knight. So, equipped. Cyclone. Click it. Does that mean we have it equipped now? I think edit Spirit Knight. Oh, we can change the name of it. That's cool. So, I think that means it's equipped now, right? Talismans. Mark of the thing. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's Let's hope that worked. And, uh, be careful. Okay. Oh, they just enter me in battle again. I don't get to choose! Okay, fine. Uh-oh. I see what they're doing here. Let's go ahead and tech Cyclone the Sun. Let's go with Close Pingy because he's close. Whoa! I got them both, son. Knocked them both back. Oh, slap! And a couple of them missed. Oh, God! Another slap, son. Don't you be slapping me around, boy! Don't you be slapping me around. Can I just keep using this tech? Yeah, that's cool. Bam! Okay, just use some of my exact kill. Nice! I think it uses some of my gauge. That's what it does, I think. And I got Pingy's treasure, sturdy sheet metal, and majestic crest. That's going to be useful later, I imagine. Nice job. Thanks, old man. Come, let us hurry on. All right, we will do just that, buddy. Whoa, is that a save point? Are you going to teach me how to save now? I hope. A glowing ring, magical fan energy emitting from inside it. What is the matter? What's this? Because I don't know. Okay. Hmm. What is what? He can't see it. Since the presence of monsters further inside the woods, did you? All the more reason for us to hurry on. <gasps> okay. Well, 
I, okay, yeah, it's a safe point. So he can't see safe point. Safe points are rings of lights found in an area around that allow you to record your progress in the game. If you step inside of the ring of light and press the A button, you'll be asked whether or not you want to save your progress. Alternatively, you can open the main menu uh, uh, inside the ring and select the save option. Save points are only found at certain points within the area map. However, when on the world map, which you can reach later on in the game, you will be able to save your progress at any time from the main menu. Please note... This game does not save automatically, making sure that your regular save is essential to your journey success. We will remember that. And this is the perfect place to end the episode, I think. So, I will say, if you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like, comment, consider subscribing. Don't forget to ring that notification of Victory Bell if you do, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this so far. Friday Mania! I'm loving it. I'm loving it, you guys. Loving it. See you guys later.